Jim Kramer's here to answer your questions from social media. Big week for earnings on the retail front, Jim. What about Kohl's? What's your thought after you know, that report? Kohl's when it yield 4.4 is at least when you have to buy it. I mean, every time it goes down to that level, you start getting excited about it, and that's exactly what you should do. Restoration hardware, does somebody come in and buy it here? Gary Freeman, when he was on Mad Money last, basically traced out a look. You know, we've got issues in Canada, we've got issues in Miami, we've got issues in Houston. That's the uh, oil, uh, the strong dollar, which therefore hurts Latin American buys, and you, and then Canada and Houston are both oil. Uh, and, and so what happens is, is that the answer is no, you can't buy it. All right, Jim, what about the drugstore retailers, Walgreens and Rite Aid? Where are they headed? I think Walgreens should definitely be bought. We, uh, Jack Moore, who's the uh, portfolio manager for Action Launch, we both feel that Walgreens is right. Now, Bruce Kamish, who, by the way, doesn't like the restoration chart, uh, a little more on the fence. I love to read his technical take on things, but I think Walgreens has gotten cheap. It's just we need more clarity in the Rite Aid deal. Here's a question about, will I live in a cardboard box buying international paper at these levels? You know, i got to do a lot more work on international paper because it's got that really good yield, but it is one of those companies that you do not buy when it looks like we're going into a recession worldwide. How about the company Fabernet? The street has a buy on it. You know, I don't really follow the street ratings that much. I think that that's a totally separate organization. I do like when Kamich, uh, our technician, uh, maps some of them, but some of these are too small. And what about Pfizer? Fiserv, I really like the Equifax Fiserv component, which is the kind of uh, soft financial. Uh, the soft financials, they don't have any credit risk like Wells Fargo and J.P. Morgan and Bank of America and City, which have a lot of oil and gas. Finally, Hecla Mining. Uh, you know what? I want to stick with the traditional miners. Rangold has been downgraded by everybody, and yet that's a big mistake. Rangold is the lowest finding cost for gold. Dr. Mark Bristow is really terrific. That's the one you want to own. Jim Kramer, thanks as always. Send your questions to Jim. Find him on Facebook. He's also on Twitter. Use hashtag KramerQ. I'm Rhonda Schopfler for The Street. To get more of Jim Kramer's investing ideas, as well as a peek at other stocks he owns in his multi-million dollar charitable trust portfolio, subscribe to Action Alerts Plus. Sign up for Action Alerts Plus at GetKramerEdge.com. That's GetKramerEdge.com.